Good, Mia. How are you all? Good. Good. So today we're going to build on what we did last time with one-step equations and work on two-step equations. So we'll start with a quick review. And last time we saw problems like x plus 10 is equal to 13. And the way that we get x by itself and immediately can see an answer is by subtracting 10 on each side in this case. And what we're really doing is we're forming the opposite operation to the sum of the constant on this side of the equation so that we can isolate the variable. So here we're left with x is equal to 3. And we can check this by putting it back into the original equation. So 3 plus 10 is equal to 13. Are there any questions on the first part? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the most important thing to remember when solving one step or two step equations is that whatever we do to one side of the equation on the equal side, we have to do to the other. So you can think of it as if you're in a three legged race and your partner moves forward and you don't and you both fall over. And so if you perform an operation on one side of the equation that you don't perform on the other, then the two sides are no longer equal and the equation falls apart. So we can work on two step equations by using the three C's. So first, constant. Coefficient and then checking. So we'll use the example 2x minus 5 is equal to 11. Does someone want to tell me what the first step is? Add 5. Thanks, Gracie. Exactly. So we're performing the opposite and adding 5 to both sides, and that leaves us with 2x is equal to 16. And let's talk about this coefficient variable for a second. So this 2 is the coefficient and the x is the variable. And in our one-step equations, the x really had a coefficient of 1, but we don't need to write that because 1 times x is always equal to x. So here we need to make this 2x become 1x, so we still get something that looks like x equals a number. So any thoughts on how we would do that? Middle? Divide. Great. So we're performing the opposite operation again and dividing by 2. And that leaves us with x is equal to 8. And we check this the same way as we did last time. So 2 times 8 minus 5 equals 11. And 2 times 8 is equal to 16 minus 5 equals 11. Any questions on that process? Super. So now we'll try another one, and you can work on this either by yourself or with a partner if you'd like. And I'll give you a few minutes. So we're going to try x divided by 2 plus 6 equals 9. Okay, great. Would someone like to come up and explain to the class what they did to solve this? Here, see? Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so first we did the opposite of adding, which is subtracting. opposite of dividing was multiplication. So, and then, yeah, yeah. Check it. Okay, so okay. let's check it. Here comes the salt, and we say it's all right. 